All right, so I do have a shooting badge. I think I'm gonna go with amp. I think amp is the way to go here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take amp for my shooting badge, and then for my defensive badge, I'm going to take. I think I'm gonna take challenger. No, no, no. I'm sorry, not challenger. I'm gonna take menace. Got to increase our defense, and then we'll go from there. I'm gonna increase my perimeter defense and my layup by a little bit because we gotta be able to stop these boys on defense. My defense is bad right now. Ash, not one chair. I don't do chairs. So what about your guests? Are we always gonna stand, stare at you? Guests? No. Did you come in here to drag me from my office decor, or do you want to prep for top takes daily? Let's prep. Great. All right. Yeah. So obviously what Shep said was beyond the pale, uh, but you've already don't. been memed to death on social media, so it's not like it's going anywhere You know what, Ash, the more and more soon. I think about Shep right now, the angry I'm getting, so I'd rather not talk about this. Okay, be that as it may, you will have to talk about it, and Mila? you can't you spoke about lose Mila on your TV? cool on national television. I don't care about TV, that is not cool! I'm sorry, do you think that this is a prestige TV show? They're gonna ask you about it, you're gonna talk about it, and you're gonna get your emotions in check. Do you understand? That was not acceptable. Sure. Tell that to him when you see him in person. Oh, I will. But when you talk about it on TV, because believe me, you will have to talk about it on TV, you need to keep an even keel. You can say that the comment was unacceptable. You you can even call him trash if you want. But isn't I don't that care. basically losing my cool again? Not if it's true. Okay? The main thing is you need to keep your cool so that it doesn't look like you're about to attack Kendrick Perkins for bringing it up on television. That's going to make you look weak. Okay. I can get with that. You could also, you could play the disappointed parent card, right? Oh, I, I expected more from my fellow man, the NBA is a brotherhood, blah, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. High road or low road, right? No, kind of they're both the high road. Both the high road, just different flavors. But the key is you gotta be authentic, all right? You need to be you. You just need to be the calmest, most mature version of yourself possible. Yeah, that's kind of yeah? like when I was in college. It kind of reminds me of that mm -mm. time. When... No, no, I don't have time to go on a trip down memory lane. Do you have anything <laughs> else to say about Talk Takes Daily? No. I have no more questions. Excellent. I'll see you at the studio. I'm going to meet you there. I need to lay some ground rules with the showrunner. And I also want to be there in case anything crops up last minute. Does that sound good? Sounds like a plan. Again, thank you for your advice. Thank mm -hmm. you for... Get some chairs in here next time. Engage your core. Sit on the yoga ball. Wouldn't hurt. What you got there, Ashley? Huh? Bunch of hopefuls. Okay. Try and ride your coattails. Doing, uh... Ah, and here he is. MP. My name is Jocelyn Davies, executive producer for Top Takes Daily. So nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. As I was telling Jocelyn earlier, uh, we are open to any discussion involving one Shep Owens, but we do expect those questions to be respectful. And if you wish to move on quickly from any given question, we expect that desire to be honored. And as I was just explaining to Miss St. Germain, this is a reputable program on a billion dollar network. We take <laughs> procedures and standards very seriously and will, of course, treat MP No with snacks that. in the dressing room. Oh my gosh. I will take care of Second it. Second day this week. Got it. Yeah. It's done. Chips, it's a billion dollar cookies, network. crackers, popcorn. Got I'm it. Not Got it. For Thank much. you so much. 60 seconds. Thank you. Very reputable. That's Stan right there. <laughs> we'll, of course, treat MP with the utmost respect and professionalism at all times. Will you guys have snacks? Oh, yeah, we got snacks. Hey, man, I'm good. <laughs> Let's do it. Jocelyn, I mean it. Okay? This is not the day for Kendrick to try to go viral over anything. Are we clear? Ash, like, loosen up a little bit. I can handle Perkins. That's no problem. See? And he's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Oh, of that, I'm sure. <laughs> but I can take care of myself. Okay? Let's not forget that. <laughs> okay. You ready to head a set now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's head over. Everyone, I'd like to introduce MP. Hey, hey, how's it going? Sam Woods, big fan. Nice to meet you. Thanks, man. Of course, you, you know JJ. My guy. Good to see you. And Kendrick. Hey, what's going on, superstar? Oh, awkward. All right, you're going to sit right here adjacent to me. Thanks. All right. 
Places, everyone. All right, everybody. We're going live. Thanks for coming on the show. Here we yeah, go. Anytime. Uh, let's follow my video. Five, four, three. And welcome back to Top Takes Daily. And for our next segment, we are joined live in studio by the guy everybody is talking about, our very special guest, MP. Welcome to the program. My man, thank you guys for uh, having me on. Yeah, thank yeah. you for joining us. Now, I know this might be a sensitive subject, but I just want to get right into it. We all saw what happened on draft night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we haven't heard your side of the story. So I'm wondering, how does it feel to be on the receiving end of, of a mixed reaction like that on, on what should be the most enjoyable night of your life? That just comes with the territory, you know? Like, we make a lot of money, and it's all because of those passionate fans out there. Night in and night out, coming into the games and showing the support. It's because of them, you know what I'm saying? And yes, the fans are free to express their feelings however way they want, but it don't matter to me. I, I, I mean, are we serious right now? Listen, <laughs> MP, with all due respect, do you expect us to believe that? If I'm my own so-called fans uh -huh. were booing me, that wouldn't sit right with me at all. Yo, Kendrick, my man, it, it, it doesn't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know in the long run people will come around and, uh, you know, see what I'm all about. You know, and that's just giving everything that I got to this game. You know, um, not only to the team, but to this, this, this city, man. You know, it's, it's my job. Proving my worth to these fans is my job. You know, so I know right now they may be booing, but soon enough they're going to be cheering for me. MP, let's stay with the draft for a moment. Mm -hmm. A big part of the reaction to your selection was the fact that Shep Owens, your biggest rival, was still on the draft board. That's right. But a, a lot of people think he has the higher upside due to his athleticism and the fact that he has loads of untapped potential as a relative newcomer to this game, whereas you've been trying to work on your skill set for the last decade plus. How would you respond to people who think you've got the higher floor but the lower ceiling? Mm. I really can't wait till we play this man because we gonna, we need to embarrass him. I mean, look, Shep would be a great track and field player. Wow. I mean, all you got to do is run fast, jump high, and you get a medal. You feel me what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, but if you want to be the best hoop in the world, you got to shoot, you got to defend, you got to, you know, you got to think at a high level, and Shep does not do that. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> it's the truth. Perk, you know I've been in MP's corner the whole time. Some would. You don't think, come on now. Come on, man. You don't think Shep can learn those things? JJ, man, you know, honestly, I, I really don't. I really don't, man. I, me, I've been working on my craft for years, for decades at that. You know, and my results speak for themselves in both wins and losses. I mean, what has Shep done so far? Other than filming his little reality TV show and going around shopping for chains, he ain't done nothing. It's a good show. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> come on, man. Um, it's more entertaining than his game. Yeah. It, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But, you know, me, I'm a student in the game. I've watched plenty of tape on this guy, and he just doesn't think on a high level. And he doesn't make game-winning plays. Simply put, simply put. Not like I do, at least. You know, you can dunk from the free throw line. You can win the dunk trophy, whatever, whatever. But those guys winning that dunk trophy aren't the same guys winning Larry O'Brien at the end of the season. And that's just facts. Mm. MP, you know we keep it real on here. I got to ask you, man to man, how do you respond to Chef Owens calling you out on his reality show? Oh, wow. This dude took shots at you. He took shots at your family. He even took shots at your girl. What do you say to something like that? He lucky he don't get dusted. You know, I, I'm going to say this as calmly as possible. Because at the end of the day, it's disappointing to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to me, basketball is a place where you express joy. Yeah, I want to beat my opponent, my opponent. Don't get me wrong. So in the heat of the moment, words do get exchanged. But to talk about another man's, another man's family? Like, fam, I'm embarrassed for him. My man has a lot of growing up to do. Well, what I want to know and we want to know, the next time you two meet, are mm -hmm. you going to exchange words? Are y'all going to exchange words? <laughs> uh, I don't know. But I'm sure there's going to be a discussion that I can promise you. 
you know, I'm not expecting him to change his stripes. You know, he is who he is. You know, so when someone shows you who they are, you believe them. Mm. That's it. You know, that's what my parents told me, and that's just how I live. Well, this has been unforgettable, and I'd love to continue this conversation, but unfortunately, we are out of time. MP, thank you for joining Wait, us. Wait, so that's it? It's been a real pleasure. Yeah, yeah, and we got to wrap things up, but you have been a tremendous sport, and we really appreciate you answering the tough questions. We wish you all the best, you and your family and your girl. Uh, coming up next, we talk early season God, God contenders jokes, and pretenders, but first, this commercial break. <laughs> Buckets, let's go. Good move, let's go. Ah, just missed it. That's an assist. Let's go. Let's go. Man, they're getting killed. Wow, dude. Even with the defense in his face, still getting killed. That's buckets. Come on, man. You can't leave me open. Finally, it lets me go all the way to the hoop. Good block. Oh my god, Kuzma. How do you miss that? Again. Right. I get a rebound there, surprisingly. Mitchell against MP. Oh, what a pass. Let's go. Come on, man. Oh, I had to step again. It's my mistake. Kuzma, go to the hole, man. Come on, bro. I'm leaning, but I get the bucket anyways. That's a good bucket. Come on, Kuz. You wide open. Let's go. We're not out of it. Oh, what a steal. Let's go. That was a bad pass, but it got in there anyways. Get in there, I don't know, but I'll take the assist. There's the three. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And here's the fast break. And Why am I doing soft layups? Yeah, we gotta we gotta increase these stats. We gotta get these attribute boosts. Because I see a lot of the work is going to just fall on you. Because my team we we had the lead and then we just blew it. So we definitely gotta get these stats. We gotta get these badges. We have to get a lot going. 